brings us Animal House. We're talking about a breed of dog that has one of the most recognizable faces in all of dogdom. We're getting up close and personal with the English Bulldog and specifically our friend Buddha. Dr. Kevin Fitzgerald back with us today and Buddha is nine weeks old and he's had <coughs> already had a very interesting start to his life. Nine weeks old. He, he, uh, <coughs> this, is, this is a wonderful breed. This is an old breed at that, that they, um, they're known to us, you know, from, from in several forms for the last four or five hundred years. About the last 150 years they look like this. These guys were recognized by the AKC right. in 1886. But it, it's a wonderful breed, bred for a, a docile nature and, mm -hmm. and kind and, and a good companion, good with children. And, and they're, they're wonderful dogs. In 33 years of practice, I think I've seen one mean one. They're great dogs. And, and uh, although they, they do have some health issues. Well, mostly involving breathing, right? I know they, they certainly have issues with that compact face. Respiratory problems with that uh, smooshed in nose, uh, narrowed uh, nostrils, mm -hmm. and elongated soft palate so they snore when they're awake. Uh, a tiny uh, hypoplastic trachea, the trachea is small, uh, folds uh, these, these little saccules on inside uh, near the, the vocal folds. So they're really uh, sensitive to heat. These guys, you know, can, can overheat very easily. They can't uh, get rid of excessive heat. Dogs don't sweat, so the only thing they can do is pant. Uh, the skin folds can, uh, are, uh, uh, can be a problem. They have to keep them clean. Uh, these guys aren't the most fastidious about about now, their appearance. Now I've heard one thing that's a real problem is if you get one of these, you have to fight off the ladies. Well, is that, is that true? <laughs> like the old high karate commercials, you know? Uh, uh, that's right. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they they uh, some some reports say eighty percent of the breeders are born C-section, right? Because of that big head and, and right. chest and a little pelvic girdle. So uh, they're they're but they're a, a a great dog. They do have some health issues. They 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 aren't as long lived as some breeds. But, but boy, they're, they're, uh, they're a wonderful dog. And they're like one of those faithful dogs, one of those at your side dogs all the time, right? But they, aren't, they aren't big uh, animal athletes, you know, <laughs> but, but you know, they, they want to they be home a lot with you. But uh, I, I think if there's anything cuter than a, a bulldog puppy, I don't know. I mean, they're, they're just, you know, it's like, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're magic. And, and so this is a little fawn in white. Right. Uh, they can be brindle. They can, there's red ones. Um, uh, there, there's uh, d different uh, different colorations, but uh, big feet. Um, it, but the, uh, a great little dog. This, this guy is so. Uh, How big will he be? Well, they, they, the males can get you know 55 pounds. Yeah. Females, you know, 45. Sturdy. So it, yeah, yeah, they're sturdy thick. fella. They're a thick dog. Well, we appreciate you uh, helping us uh, get a visit from Buddha this morning. He's a handsome devil. Everybody's fawning all no, over him. No, I'd like him. to thank Luca and Monica for bringing him in this morning. So. No, he's, uh, my friends brought him in. He's a great puppy. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> he's tired, too. It's been a long morning. Kim, what do you think? He is so stinking cute. I know. Isn't he something? Oh, my gosh. He's got puppy breath. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. All right, still had on Daybreak this morning. The entire country celebrating with the U.S.